Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new series on this channel. Welcome to the Lust Aquatics, an abandoned zoo that we have to turn over into a profitable and very well run um, focus on welfare zoo in Planet Zoo franchise mode. Um, in this five minutes of time lapse where I essentially only build a little blueprint in which I can make money to build the actual zoo as a blueprint for us, um, I'm going to quickly explain this series to you. So stick with me, it's gonna be very exciting, it's gonna be a very exciting series overall, it's gonna be uh, exciting for you because there will be some community involvement uh, in here as well, but also uh, in general just as a series. You know, after Tiny Zoo has been very successful for me um, as a specific challenge. I thought let's do that again, but let's up the game a bit, okay? So, you know, we have the big issue that unfortunately, whenever you try to do a franchise zoo, um, you start with a blank canvas, okay? So there is nothing that challenges you apart from the biome that you choose um, and the mode easy, medium or hard. Now, <clears throat> as this can be a little bit boring after a while, after if you've played in all the biomes and done all the stuff you wanted. I wanted to have like a different challenge with Tiny Zoo, as you remember, making sure that we have a very dedicated grid that is pretty small and we limit us to only this. Now, this time around, it's gonna be a bit different. We are going to have, as you've seen on the thumbnail, hopefully you clicked because of that one. Um, this time around, we are going to have a pre-built abandoned water park slash water zoo now in the lost aquatics which has been exactly that a zoo and like a water park in itself and we are going to turn this over into a welfare oriented aquatic zoo meaning we are obviously using mostly the aquatic animals of the game so you know, that means we are somewhat stuck to the semi-aquatic animals, obviously, but we do have a couple of animals in here and we have to decide together with you uh, which ones we are going to take. Now, I think the um, obviously all diving capable uh, animals in terms of focusing on water are pretty much set. So speaking of the otter, the seal, the sea lion, the penguins, you know, these type of animals I think are pretty much set in stone. Um, but since these are not like too many, we have to really talk about what kind of animals we else would get in here. If we are going to take some of the big cats that are very likely to swim a lot, if we're going to have a polar bear in here, which is a obviously very questionable, uh, questionable choice, in the first place. Um, this is the first task for you in the first episode, to really go through all the existing animals in this game and let's talk about what kind of animals we want to have in here. Then the second part is this zoo blueprint is obviously um, with a very old, not on welfare focused uh, mindset build. That means the habitats are way too small, way too crammed, way too weird and we have to overhaul this in a way that this is welfare oriented. So in complete contrast to what we did in Tiny Zoo, this time around we're going to try to build a bit bigger, making sure that welfare is really to the maximum and, and I hate myself for doing that, I hate myself already to putting myself on this challenge, but it has to be done. We are also focusing on the guest flow management. Now, this has been a big pain um, at the end of Tiny Zoo. You know that many areas have been insanely cramped and that means this time around we will have to also be strategic in where we put different things. All these things together will lead to the fact that I chose to go for medium difficulty. The sole reason why I did that is so that all the working pieces are unlocked from the get-go. Um, I mean, it's obviously because I wanted to build a nice blueprint that requires couple of pieces and I didn't want to limit myself to just the base game pieces that are at the beginning of hard mode but also to give myself a bit of breathing space while we will do a lot of uh, changes in terms of you know layout of the zoo and stuff like that so that we can focus on the management aspect making the zoo run so my target is and I know that's a, that's a pretty ambitious one my target is to have my best and well-run zoo ever built in Planet Zoo, meaning guest happiness, animal happiness, and just the focus on it. But that also means we will have obviously less animals in comparison to what we've done so far. All that together, I hope you guys find this interesting. And now I have a short interruption with the final stages of my money printing machine, and then we go on with the actual build. 
And so here we are in the first little real-time part. As promised, I'm jumping in the final result of my money printing machine, as I want to call it. Um, this is going to be uh, completely vanished um, after this cut, because I only use this, as I said, to produce the money that I will need to build the blueprint. However, we will use it very quickly for uh, making sure that we unlocked all of the workshop elements as well. So let me just quickly jump in here. We're going to go to staff facilities. In fact, we actually in the workshop. Um, I have refused to have one the entire time, but you know, I'm just gonna put one here and now we are going to set our mechanic uh, research. Uh, well, actually we've got three mechanics. That's kind of ridiculous to be honest, um, but there's only one we need to do uh, and that is uh, the Europe theme. So there you go. Just gonna quickly wait until this is unlocked. Uh, we don't need the blueprints. We just need the basic uh, step of it. And while we do so, I can also quickly check. This is what I did all the time if, yeah, well, okay, we have some more money lying over here. What I always do is like uncheck one of those. You can see uh, another mail. No, we don't put the rest of the trades center. The same goes for over here. You can say, oh, look at that. There's already one being pregnant right now. I'm going to put them all back in. Then you go back to exhibit trading and uh, now you just go to your storage, select them all. And there you go. 6,000 back in our pockets. Um, that's pretty easy to make the money, to be honest. And at this point, um, money is uh, very easy to be made, but also we are um, having a couple more conservation credits as before, simply because we can just sell all the animals all the time. Um, what I can also do now, as you can see, we've got so many, and I uh, renamed some of the animals, so I have always uh, the good chance to have them, and I call them like New Daddy, Mommy, Mommy 2, and so on. So I basically know that um, whenever there is, you know, a specimen that I don't need to sell um, because I need to have it to get the babies. You can see, I know the name, but the problem is you can see over here already, uh, we got the problem that mommy is about to be dying. That means we can basically get rid of most of them uh, simply because I don't have a mommy and I don't want to get another mommy. But okay, um, this is something I take care of off screen, but you can see the same goes about the ostriches. We've got two more over here. Um, gonna get this one away because we don't need this. The same goes for that one. They're all gold by now now, which is the good one. Um, that means we are producing only gold ones. They sell for a couple more uh, money pennies than it would be before. And so the same applies for all the other stuff over here. You can see there's another one pregnant. Um, and we can just uh, release them to the wild get some credits, but the mass is really what makes it special. It's not really the animals itself that make it special, but it's actually the mass. And um, speaking of mass, you can also see that I've got so many animals in here. I've got three specimens, uh, three species in here. It's quite crowded. Uh, but the good thing about this is it's just they make babies, quite a lot of babies. And I'm going to sell them all, except uh, keeping two gold status of all of them uh, to make sure that we can potentially use them in a later zoo. But for the moment, I can actually keep seven selling them. But yeah, this is the final layout, as you can see. And now I'm going to tear this all down and I'm going to make the blueprint that you guys have seen on the thumbnail already of our brand new zoo. And I'm very excited about this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the lost Aqualand. And yes, we are in the prefab park. And Yes, you can also download this if you guys want to play along. I have uploaded this uh, already to the members of the channel. So in case you guys want to play that um, and you're a member of the channel, you can already do so. I will put this uh, on a, on a you know um, channel post or community wall post and it will be free next week. Okay, so for the next week's episode, I will make this free as a little goodie uh, for everyone uh, on the channel. I will already upload this for today's episode, but um, next week when hopefully everyone is a aware of this project, this is going to go live into the workshop. So just as a little info for you. Cool bit here is, um, this is the park and we're going to play it. Uh, however, today I will not actually start to work. I will actually give you a little tour because, um, guys, this took way longer than I expected to pre to prepare. Um, you can't imagine how long it took me to get all the money and stuff. And then um, I had so many issues. I needed to completely do something else again and redo a park because um, I needed to do some workshop research because otherwise I could have not used some blueprints. You can maybe, maybe if you guys are aware of my projects, you will spot some things that I use for some dioramas. I use some other things I use for Hirsch Egg, for example, um, and just in general, some more layers. 
layouts. This is part of the seal habitat uh, or sea lion habitat from Yosemite. And I kind of reused some of the things, but there are a lot of little things to catch up. But yeah, look at that. We have some broken down uh, benches everywhere. So apparently I opened the park, uh, made sure that there is a lot of vandalism going on. And then I closed it again. I have some litter everywhere. What the hell? There's something missing. I, I'm not sure why, why things are floating around here. Uh, they shouldn't, but um, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Let's quickly fix that up. Um, I'm not really sure. What is going on here? Why is this? Is this now the ground? Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, let's quickly delete these things. Um, is there anything else flying around? No. So yeah, I also need to delete some shops because apparently I uh, got the people in uh, to make sure that they buy some goodies and then, you know, uh, start being like little bricks and uh, putting down all the litter and stuff just to have the feeling of, uh, yeah, a, a, a rundown park, you know. And this is basically what that is. This is a run down uh, old Aqualand. And let us let me just give you a little bit of trivia, okay? Um, this park, also I'm going to speed up to lose some more money because I have still way too much money. I just couldn't get rid of money. It was ridiculous. Um, this park is uh, meant to be something uh, hugely inspired by a uh, abandoned water park in Berlin. I found some cool images on YouTube, if, uh, on, on Google. If I remember, I will put them on screen right now. Um, and I'm I'm very much into the idea of having this as a combination of a little bit of a fun park, but at the same time, uh, a very much uh, crammed and um, little animal park in which they had way too big whales and stuff in these tiny, tiny things. You know, for example, I imagine that this tank here was maybe for like a beluga. Um, in this year, they maybe had some, I don't know, seals or so. This one was for dolphins, you know, something way too big, um, living in a way too small space. And our task, is basically to start building this for our aquatic and semi-aquatic animals in the game, which effectively means that we have to change a lot. And this is the biggest difference between Tiny Zoo and this zoo. Even though it seems pretty similar because we have a prefab grid and stuff, this time around um, I will not limit myself to what exists, so I'm very much allowed to change things up, to change the, the layout, to change the, you know, um, different buildings and stuff, to basically change everything. The only thing I want to keep is the feel of this thing, you know? I still want to go with this architectural style of a more 90s based uh, aqua park, if that makes sense to you. Like using a lot of like, um, you know, corrugated or like a, a scrap metal and um, beams and a lot of concrete and stuff. That is still the target to make this really like to feel like an aqua park combined with a very modern feel inspired by the... Um, um, Aqua Geographic in uh, Valencia. And also let me just change the time real quick because I changed that in order to have a better uh, better lighting. But um, let me just change that up like this now. Um, Oceanographic is the name, by the way, in Valencia for the Aqua Park. So this is the inspiration here, but we will do a lot. We will focus a lot more on underground viewing. We will make sure that we have a lot better um, welfare things. We have no shelters whatsoever here for the animals. So there's a lot of things we need to focus on. Um, we need to redo the entrance. We need to do the parking lot and all these kind of things have to be done. And you can see everything is broken down here. Everything is run down. And we have to just focus on making things work. It's also just from, it's, this thing is still not run down. It's kind of ridiculous. I put this fence down like a million years ago, uh, hoping that this will depletish or how this is even called, like broke down, but it's not. Like it's just standing here. Are they just affected if there are animals around? Like do they actually go down? It's so weird though. Anyhow, um, yeah, so. This is the point where you guys come into play. I promise that this is going to be a very high community involved series and there is now going to be the challenge for you guys. So um, in order to make this thing work, I need your help. First of all, I need a ranking of animals that you guys want to see first, okay? So we have a lot more money and I'm willing to keep the money because the idea of the story is that we have to embrace this and turn this into something really great so we would have a bit more budget okay um, and we will need the budget because we this time around we will use a lot of theming we will go big um, we won't go restricted on a tiny space um, but we will try to restrict ourselves at least to the to the main park here you know I, I'm not going to go crazy um, I will sh definitely try to keep it in here so please 
Task number one, give me a list of animals that we have in here. And if we go through the list, we do have the different specimens of crocodilians, like we have the saltwater crocodile, the gharial, the, um, uh, how's that small thing called, uh, uh, the caiman, exactly. We've got the two penguins. We've got the um, uh, the two sea, uh, like the seal and the sea lion. We have the beaver. We've got the otter, and we have uh, definitely also. Um, I'm I'm looking into a polar bear. Maybe you guys have to tell me if that's a thing or not. Uh, but then we have to build something really crazy. We know how expensive that is, and this is where we need the money. Um, so these all work, and then we also we can quickly go through the list. Um, we I thought about. The having both specimens of tortoises in here as well because they make sense in kind of an aqua park as well even though they are not you know not at all with water but i just have the feeling they would be in for whatever reason um then we have like the exhibit animals i don't even want to talk about they will be in but you know they will be in that's about it um and then we also do have the let's see what else we could use um mm -mm 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 -mm. And did I forget anything? I think this is about it. The flamingo, obviously, will be part of every uh, aquatic park that you have. The two hippos we have, the hippopotamus and the pygmy hippo as well, are also called pigeon hippo, for those who know. They know, you know. We've got these ones as well. And um, yeah, do you guys have any other ideas which animal would suit into this aquatic park as well? I definitely want to limit it to animals that can and do die a lot also with the exclusion of the um, flamingos and tortoises for example simply because they fit so well in it so let me know what you think about that the next part is blueprints i will say though i'm not going to rely on them totally because my experience from last time is that the first episodes will always be good and you guys will be uh, very motivated to send in blueprints but then it will go down eventually over time and if i make it rely on blueprints then the episodes would be spread out over weeks until i have enough i don't want this so i will have a, a initial push now uh, for the first weeks and you guys can uh, either put this into the workshop and link it to me via my email address or you can just jump into the gilded um, where I'm going to put down a server or like a list where you can put it down for me um, or just simply put uh, the link in the comments. I will actually get a notification that it's blocked but don't you worry I'm going to get this free and get the link. So whatever way you want to choose send me your blueprints and please focus them on two things. Just two okay. The first thing is any kind of wall set for the tanks okay just as i did this over here uh, let me quickly show you they're standing around here i'm just going i just did some simple retaining walls like that or i also did um uh, some stuff like let me just grab that out i think this is the one yeah so they are all different you know this one looks like that we also have these ones over here just like as like a little roundish tunnel so i need these kind of retaining wall thingies um that can be used as whatever type of tank here is something like this um i can use the second part is any kind of backstage prop for a water park pipes pumps uh water secure systems desalination whatever if there is any um heaters uh, coolers whatever you can come up with for backstage uh, elements these are the only two things i need the rest i will try to do as much as i can um in the live builds and i'm trying to focus again as in the normal franchise to build one habitat at each time um and yeah i will definitely need your input on way uh, what, when to start with what animal to start and all these kind of things anyhow that should be it um i'm just going to quickly show you around uh, once more so you can see how this broken down area looks you know all these little tanks here just everything looks broken down there is actually something broken down we've got this old kind of swimming pool area uh, this one over here we've got that here so yeah everything broken down just as you can tell and also we've got the delivery area and stuff as well in the front. Now, guys, I really hope you are as excited for the series as I am. If you are as excited, 
please help me by commenting everything that I just talked about and make sure to give it a like if you like it to push this out to the people. I'm really excited. I haven't been that excited for a new series in a long time, to be honest, because this is something I planned for so, so long, but I refused to, <laughs> to take all the time to make it. But now I finally did. And I'm very excited to start and really, really hoping you guys are too. Again, if you want to take part in or like do a build along or whatever, you can download the file right now if you're a member of the channel. Remember, it's only 99 cents uh, if you want to. Um, it's pretty simple. You also get the emoticons and stuff and eventually a teaser image if I remember. Um, but it's absolutely not mandatory. Next episode, I will include this for everyone. So you can either become a member and get some other goodies too. Or you just wait another week, which is fine too, I guess. And I thought this would be just a nice little idea. So with all that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend ahead. I hope you guys stay safe, everyone, and make sure to comment the hell out of it. Let me know what's your opinion, your ideas, your animal you want to see. And next week, we are finally starting to turn this thing into an actual very cool aqua park. And I can't wait for that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one. And goodbye.